Hi everyone, I just thought I'd make a quick video um, just outlining some of the rules for the tournament and also some instructions for getting round one uh, underway. I'll obviously link uh, or uh, summarise this in the description box for the video, um, so if you want, you're not sure about anything in the video just, just open that up and have a look through. Um, also any questions feel free to pop them in the, uh, the tournament channel discord and I'll get back to you. Um, so yeah, just first of all, really happy with the turnout for the tournament. We've got 24 players as of today, which is the 30th, so yeah, really good turnout. Happy about that. Um, because of the numbers, um, some people will be getting a buy into the second round. Um, so we'll have quite a full round one, but some people, because of the way the numbers work and the bracket works, um, mathematically we can't have everyone obviously playing initially. Um, some people will just have to get a buy into the second round. Um, now, two of those people, um, I'm going to be picking myself because they've come to me and said they can't make the round one uh, game, which is fair enough. I'd like to include everyone I can, so it's only fair that they get a, a buy into the second round. The rest will be randomised. Um, when the tournament finally, can, well, when I finally begin the tournament, I'll randomise the bracket because the the one on the uh, challenge website right now is just a it's sort of a preview. It's not really meant to be the final final version. So I'll randomise it on uh, Monday, and then I'll obviously update you, and uh, I can let everyone know who uh, who'll be getting the buy and who'll be playing in round one. So for the rules, um, uh, each game we're playing uh, will be with the Larry Harris variation. Uh, we'll be using standard victory, and the side that you'll be playing as uh, will be determined randomly in round one, obviously. Um, so I'll be doing a, just a, a random, I think, probably I'll, probably what I'll do is I'll go down the bracket, I'll pick the first name, um, I'll randomise the uh, his his or her nation, and then from there I'll just go Axis Allies, Axis Allies the whole way down. Um, then for ev every subsequent round, um, I'll do my best to try and match people or to, to have people playing as a nation they've not played before, or side they've played before. Um, so obviously we, if we have round one, for example, if we have one person playing as the Axis, they won. Another person playing as the Allies, they won. And they meet in the next bracket in the next round, then obviously they'll, they'll swap sides. If two Axis players win and go through and play each other, then obviously we'll have to randomise um, the nations for that second round. Because obviously there's no way to fairly do that. So um, we'll do our best to balance the nations so everyone gets a fair play with both sides. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll announce that as it goes each round. So for round one until the quarterfinals, um, all matches will have one week, a uh, one week time limit uh, to complete. Um, the reason behind this is I don't want the tournament obviously overrunning for a long time because there's potentially, we, we know this, um, if people aren't available to make moves quickly, then games can very easily become one, two, three week, you know, things. Um, and I don't want people, if they've been playing quickly, if they finish their game early, I don't want them waiting around for weeks on end just to, you know, get the, the next round underway. So the, the idea behind this was just to kind of keep it keep it flowing nicely. So yeah, round one, one week. Round two, the following week. Just keeps it very, very smooth. So for each round, um, on the start day, you'll be free to start the game whenever you want. Um, obviously, it'll be up to, to you guys, the players, to invite each other and get the custom games organised. Um, but you're free to start any time on that start day. Um... And obviously you play until the completion date. Um, if you finish the game uh, before the time limit, then that's great. Um, just let me know in the Discord channel, the tournament Discord channel, that you've completed the match. And obviously just let me know the winner so I can organise the next bracket. Um, if the game can't be finished within the time limit, then what we'll need you to do is complete the, on the final day, play as much as you can, I guess. Um, but on the final day, um, you need to play until the US have completed their turn. On whatever round it is, uh, just so we get the very the end of a complete round, um, and then you need to submit a screenshot of the final board um, and also the war report uh, to the judges via the uh, tournament Discord channel. Um, from there, we can make an evaluation on who was winning the game um, at that point. Um, we're going to base that on attack power and also national production. Um, so it'll be a combination of those two factors, and also the board will will, will analyze the board and. Um, determine a, a winner based on, on the screenshot sent over. But that's it for rules, really. Um, that should be it. Just on a side note as well, for the finals, um, I'd like to ask the two finalists, whoever they may be, um, if they can please sub submit two screenshots per nation per round. Um, so I'd like them to submit a, su a screenshot after the combat phase, combat movement phase, sorry. And then once again, after the mobilization phase, uh, the reason for this, I'd, I'd like to obviously 
try and make this as interactive as possible. Obviously, we can't spectate the game, which is unfortunate, <laughs> uh, which would have been nice. But this is the, the next best thing, really. Um, just kind of get a, a, a feel, let the players know what's happening in, throughout the game. I also thought of doing some commentary for some of the screenshots and, you know, sharing it with the uh, the YouTube channel as a whole to kind of, you know, let everyone on the channel have a, have a, a look at the finals as they progress. Um, so that'll be nice. Okay, so I'll move on to just some instructions for round one. Um... Uh, first of all, all the players in the tournament, um, if you can please jump onto Discord um, and type in your name. I've made a separate channel for this. Uh, it's called Tournament ID. Um, if you can put your name and uh, your, your in-game name, sorry, and your ID in there, um, it'll obviously mean when we start the round one, it'll make it easy for everyone to identify who they're playing against and very quickly invite them to a game. Yeah, I think I can envision a lot of confusion on the day one when people can't find each other, you know, on Discord or whatever. Um, having everyone's name in one place will make it a lot easier for this round and every round following. So I think that'll, that'll just make things a lot smoother. So if you put your name, your ID, your in-game name and your ID. Um, if your in-game name does not match your bracket name, which you've used on challenge.com, um, if you can just note that as well to make it easier for to people to find you. Um, so, round one. It'll begin at midnight on Tuesday the 4th. Um, whatever time zone you're in, it doesn't really matter. Um, we're, we're not going to be too too precise about time, <laughs> finish times. But just any wherever you are, midnight, Tuesday the 4th, that's when you can begin. Uh, so you're free to invite your opponent and begin the game. Uh, you'll then have until 11.59, Tuesday the 11th, again, whatever time zone you're in, uh, to complete your game. Or finish a US turn and submit your screenshots to the tournament Discord. Um, for the judges to obviously uh, make an evaluation. If the games are concluded on time, then can you please let us know. Um, again, just type in the tournament dis the channel, um, just to let us know the victor, and we can obviously then start working on the bracket for the next round. Um, if all matches are concluded before the time limit, then that'll be great. Um, we can obviously get started on round two uh, quicker. So we'll, we'll adjust that accordingly as we go. If it if it, it might not happen that way, if it does, great. If not, that's totally fine. Uh, we'll adjust as we go. Um, any problems on Tuesday the 4th itself, uh, let me know. Um, if I don't hear anything, I'll just assume everything's you know underway and all the games have begun. Um, but yeah, any problems, let me know. So again, the draw, uh, it's not finalised as of yet. Uh, once I close the tournament sign-up on Monday, Monday the 3rd, um, I'll then randomise the draw. I'll begin the tournament, randomise the draw, um, adjust a few of the uh, the buys as I mentioned before in the video and then I'll obviously I'll, I'll, I'll do another posting another video posting with everyone's opponents I'll, I'll post the bracket out uh, so everyone's aware of um, the first round uh, draw but yeah that's that should be it so thanks for watching and I'll uh, see you in the tournament take care